Hey everyone, so welcome back to the channel. I made it up to Benidorm. <laughs> So I'm currently standing up on the Balkan de Mediterraneo, or the balcony of the Mediterranean, which is the site of the Castel de Benidorm, or Benidorm Castle here. Kind of right in the center, wedged in between Levante and Poniente Beach. It's a beautiful, iconic landmark right here in the center of Benidorm. And if you're a fan of the Benidorm TV series, right behind me is the spot where the Oracle and Leslie had their infamous meetup and date that night, right here on the Balcon de Mediterraneo. They made it look like a restaurant in the show, but it wasn't. It was just this uh, platform here. Absolutely stunning views. Look at this sunrise coming up behind me. And they also have some of the old castle ruins and footings exposed as you're walking around the balcony up here. Very cool to see. Behind me is Poniente Beach and it's absolutely gorgeous. It has like a slower pace than Levante. Along the promenade you'll see more uh, restaurants, cafes, ice cream shops versus down Levante. It's kind of more bar focused music. Both are absolutely beautiful. I guess it just depends what you're looking for. A little more family friendly or a little more party. But it is absolutely stunning. Highly suggest coming down here and checking this out. And the beaches are absolutely gorgeous. The sand is so fine. Super nice. Some of the best beaches I've actually seen in Spain so far. So I just stopped into Madness Specialty Coffee Roasters behind me there and it was uh, really a nice experience. They roast the coffee on site and they have single origin coffee. And then when they serve it to you, I got a double shot of espresso. They give you a little shot of cold tea just to kind of cleanse your palate. And then it comes with a little card explaining like even down to the elevation of where the coffee was grown. And then I went with a little snack. It had, uh, it was like a rustic grilled bread with the uh, famous crushed tomatoes and then topped with a little Serrano ham and some cheese. It was absolutely beautiful. Highly recommend stopping in and the whole place is kind of decorated with uh, coffee paraphernalia. Really good spot down here at the end of Poniente Beach. You know, I'm kind of really liking the vibe here in Benidorm. I'm actually pleasantly surprised. It kind of gets a bad rap sometimes online of just being a party town, but it is so much more than that. It's almost, if I had to compare it, uh, how would I explain it? It's like if you took the good parts of Las Vegas and Henderson, Nevada, mixed them with Sausalito, California and slapped it in Orange County, but then you still have the old town, the cobblestone, the Spanish churches and all the Spanish a history and stuff around there's forts and castles it's really amazing it has all the good parts of europe that you want and then it also has some modern parts um the shopping district is beautiful avenida mediterraneo beautiful and then of course you have the entertainment district with all the cabaret shows and the bars and stuff so it has a little bit of everything and i'm kind of really enjoying it up here you never know i might just buy a property in benidorm so I made the huge walk up to the Castellum de Tassel here in La Cala Benidorm. And uh, if you don't like heights and you're not in the greatest shape, you may want to get a cab up here or something because it is a walk, it is steep. I actually hate heights. And uh, actually they got these glass walls. It's like straight cliff. If you could see where I'm at, here's like uh, Poniente Beach is down there. And then there's, well, there's the uh, outlook in the middle and then that's Levante all the way off in the distance. It's, uh, the views are epic. If you're into photography, probably worth it. But uh, whew, yeah, there's all kinds of little panels around describing the history and stuff. I don't know how they did this back in the day, how they built this as a different breed of human back then, I guess. But holy, this is epic, but you can see forever. So it is a good spot to put a lookout in a castle, but yeah, wow. Anyways, epic views. I highly suggest coming up here to check it out if you're uh, into photography or you just want to see Benidorm from, from a view. It is amazing. Absolutely amazing up here. And as you make your way back down, I didn't notice this on the way up, but right over there on that cliff, there's another tower over there. I don't think that one's accessible. Um, 
And yeah, free admission to get in here too. And they actually, you can download an app in the app store if you want to know the history of it. It's really cool. I highly recommend coming up here. Look at this, can't beat it. And right at the bottom of the castle there, there is the Armita Virgin Del Mar, right kind of at the entrance where you head up to the castle. So we'll have a quick look at that right now. And there's some more epic views here at the Ermita. And then of course they have like the little altar, some stained glass, the candles are going. It's really, really quite nice. And wow, look at this view. I mean, you really cannot beat this. But it is an investment if you're gonna walk up here. So check out this small little beach behind me. It's actually quite cool. It's way down the very end of Benidorm. Most people probably never get down here. I'm not going to massacre the name. I'll just put it below. I'm not going to pronounce that one. You can see that tower that we've seen from the castle up there. There it is there. So we're down in this like little alcove. Absolutely beautiful little spot down here. Uh, it's like a little bit of a promenade and a bunch of cafes and stuff. Be a nice place maybe to kill an afternoon it's really nice and probably way less busy than uh, than the other beaches if you're looking to get away from the crowds Check out this little beach behind me. It's Playa de Mel Pass or Pass. And uh, it's kind of cool. It's like a little alcove right below the Balcon de Mediterraneo, right here behind the famous look off. There's the island out there, the famous rock. And it's just this little alcove beach, really cool. They had kind of has like a plaster wall behind it with uh, like a lot of palm trees, really nice secluded little beach. Probably not a lot of tourists come here, I'm assuming. So yeah. Really, really nice place. So I'm up in Tapas Alley and I stopped at my first place. I'm gonna hit a couple here and uh, check the whole kind of alley. I will stop at a few places, get a few different tapas. So I went with uh, the ham cheese and peppers, of course, some uh, pork loin with some onions and a kebab, of course, a cerveza to wash it all down with. So we'll get into this and then, uh, yeah, we'll head to some more places check out some more tapas. It's kind of centrally located here in the old town. All the tapas places are all in kind of one little area. All right, so I made it over to the next place, literally right next door to the other one. I went uh, with more fish this time. I got a, uh, a cod and then I got some torpedo shrimp or prawns. And then I went with a pork skin that they chopped up and fried, which looks absolutely delicious. So I'm gonna tuck into this, another beer of course. Can't go wrong, this place is actually really cool. It's loaded with tapas here. Nice little kind of energy vibe going on. Really like it. So those shrimp are like perfectly crispy on the outside, buttery and sweet on the inside, delicious. But the star of the show is this fried pork skin. If you like like chicharrones from uh, Puerto Rico, anything like that, it's similar. Salty, porky, fatty. I mean, you couldn't ask for more. This is delicious. The one thing to say about when you're coming to get the tapas, they're usually like in a case cold and then uh, you pick what you want and they'll whack them in the oven or fry them or whatever, they'll heat them up. So it takes a few minutes, but it's an excellent way to eat. You get a huge variety and it's absolutely delicious. All right, at my third place now, starting to get a little full. So now we just went with a croquetta and a little burger and of course another pint. Almost time for siesta. All right, Tapas Alley is getting busy now. I was able to squeeze one more in, but I went healthy this time. So we went with uh, some sardines, some olives, and then basically more sardines and olives and another beer. One last beer before siesta, and yeah, it is absolutely packed in here. It's a uh, really cool vibe. Highly recommend checking this out. Behind me is the Sol Pelicanos here in Benidorm. And if you're a fan of the Benidorm series by uh, Darren Litton, fantastic show. This is the Solana that they portrayed where all the guests stayed. Amazing, really, really cool, iconic landmark here in Benidorm. 
and just down the road from the Sol Pelicanos is another iconic landmark here in Benidorm, Morgan's Tavern, better known in the Benidorm series as Neptune's Bar, where they used to come in the evening, have their dinner, watch a show. So pretty cool. Thought I'd include it in the video since it's such an iconic landmark here. And there is no lack of entertainment here in Benidorm. There is cabaret shows, karaoke, you name it, they have it here. It's quite extensive. It's literally on every corner there's something to do. You could spend a week here and not get bored easily. I love it. Pretty impressed, actually. So I'm currently standing down here on Avenida de Mallorca, also known as the British Square or the famous British Street where all the pubs and discos are. It's currently February and it's 11 o'clock in the morning, so everything is shut. But if you come at night in season, it is a hopping place. If you're looking for a good time out, this is gonna be where you wanna hit. So I spent the day down in Levante Beach. Started over in the quote unquote British tourist zone. Started at the Western Saloon. Had a couple pints there, fantastic place, great people. Then I walked over to the beer garden, had a little snack, couple more pints. Then I started, then I headed over to Camion right down here on Levante Beach. Had a swordfish lunch, it was fantastic. The views, the people, the vibe, it's electric. Highly recommend coming down here. If you're looking for a party or just some energy, it is a great place to spend the morning, the afternoon, and most likely the evening. So on this trip, I stayed in the Old Town, centrally located between Levante and Poniente Beach. Fantastic hotel behind me, Hotel Alameda. Highly recommend staying there. It looks like it's been updated recently. Conveniently located, Tapas Alley is literally the next street behind it. So you can't go wrong here, Hotel Alameda. So it happens to be Sunday afternoon and I have UK roots and Sunday roast is a part of those roots and I never miss it even when I'm back home in Fuengirola. And I'm here in Benidorm and I did a quick Google search and Sherry's Bar is supposed to be one of the best roasts in the city and they were right, did not disappoint. It was fantastic. So if you're looking for a good Sunday roast not far from the Balcon de Mediterraneo, go to Sherry's Bar, absolutely delicious. So I made it up to the famous Benidorm Cross here, uh, such an iconic location. Make your way up if you can, there's epic views all around. You can see pretty much all of Benidorm from up here. Highly recommend coming up. Wear some good footwear though, it's a bit rough. Uh, I guess the story goes the cross was placed up here to uh, kind of counter the sins of Benidorm and then the original one had blown over and this is a new one that they had put up. and. Uh, it's well worth coming up here. There's like little uh, love locks and little messages to loved ones all around the bottom of it. Really kind of nice. So I think since we're at such an iconic location here in Benidorm, I'll wrap the video up. So thanks for tuning in and we'll see you in the next one.